You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? Those signs. See you know your horses. Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. Oh. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yadamir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. No sign of her yet. We need to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that? What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Oh no, we're not going to steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, lass. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Be assured. You'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. <laughs> How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The 
The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compare to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. <laughs> what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my rowan petal, I'd do anything. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vla- uh, This is my friend of yesteryear. Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could- Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, who scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. That'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers, but we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers has gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. <sighs> they sure named it right.
Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witch is here now. Perhaps he can aid us. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is. I will find this swallower of heated thing. Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you, and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but... Are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe you. Tally-ho. Adventure awaits. The dog made these tracks true. A small one. Yet judging by its house, demon is a hulk. But beggars can not choose their tracks. I've only ever seen two I shall like this. Bees. One in an antel, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. The spark spitter's cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come, Jap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat and a coward. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. We're all over. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse, now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I 
I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead? True. Boar was fleeing a hound. Hound? Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding, where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes Good. Then let's be off. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Yes! Bear! Bear? That? Oh. As much as your cock's a tent pole. Hide, you blind fool. I told him to hide. Bully good him up at his heels. Why not now? No magic words. Let's tell the brides. I found your fire liquor, but he gave up the ghost on the way back. Too much vodka. Just my luck to hire a drunk. And Demon, what's with him? He failed to return? No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. <laughs> Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a cat. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. The dog's small beer. No fire eating. That's the grief. Aye, grief. No show. Oh no. What can we do? I regret the loss as well. But there, there. You've put on a lovely wedding even without him. You think so? Truly. Holy. I haven't reveled so thoroughly in ages. You've nothing to be ashamed of. There are vittles, musicians, and all enjoy themselves. As should you marry your daughter off today. Be glad, for sadness can only bring her worry. Witcher speaks wise words, my dear. Come, let's see to the guests. Yes, let's. Thank you, Witcher, for your trouble. And your kind words. <laughs> My first Witcher contract didn't turn out as I'd hoped. Look, 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 look. Still look. had a cracking time. Playing cards. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. No need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a Midget. I've apologized. 
What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. over the wager. Everything! Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement? Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin! What do we do now? Feel good, losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win, give you the coin! 
I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him don the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cap and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? Agreed. 5% is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everex a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everex. Rogue's long dead by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed! Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster until we expire. special guests. The Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner, Shan. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all. No none to match your charms. Seems the music and the evening draw to a close. You know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Oh, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset. 
upset my peach? I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. I don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Probably I'd have done what he did. Still like to. Then why don't you? Well, answer me. Thing is, normal folk don't act like Vladimir von Everick. Because they are churns. <laughs> don't be too hard on him. All in all, he's actually rather fun. Ha! See that? I'm fun. And you've got a pike so far up your ass, you can't wear hats. Happen to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whip. I promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. For how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shari. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisite. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother? That you envied all geared from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. I came here to revel, enjoy myself, not to discuss my brother. That's good. All geared probably wouldn't want me to talk to you about him. All 
Geard was my brother and my friend. Never have there been more loyal comrades than us. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, and they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgier visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well. Perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry. It's all right. That was... forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Lads are racing to be crowned King of the Swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me? Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! <coughs> Couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Come 
on, Piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. You see that, Shawnee? One big pen. Peasants, learned a lesson from your better? Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favour. Yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witness such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. Does my heart's captor like the uh, prize I won for her? The rag-stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Hmm. Tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course, but still. Yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Lestri, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day, we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. You shan't keep me from anything, filthy hayseed. Lads! Mutants calling us names! Stand down, swine herds, or Lord Witcher will give you a bloody mighty drubbing. Now where's a plowing fence board when you need it? Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Yeah. 
perfect fit for your yard, you bowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shame? Damned crap creamed me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. Had enough peasant spawn. Thought yourself a match for a Von Everett. I need a witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jack yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It weren't. More often than not. Listen. Tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. <sighs> your methods... Quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. My dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair-featured. Off we go. Ah, so good to shake the kinks from one's bones. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What's taking you so long? Bring Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh look, dearie, I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We poked your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip-in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look, mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule. They give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. There's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you.
mucky that pond, sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it, than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers, and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Nothing like a good swim. Now we must do something else. Something wild. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delight so fiercely, I've decided to make a... Geralt, there's no need. So be it. If there's no demand, I shan't supply. But it would have been a beautiful speech. It's almost midnight. Time for the cat. You're a bridesmaid, Shani. Take your place. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, and give them a few weeks, and we we'll toast the lovely pair with his It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. Lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. 
I can't. I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> to back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Not to lift her spirits. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? Good idea. 
Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured old Geert could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. Oh, he remembered I liked the Rowan. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Not really. It's just. After I caught the garland, I realized some years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All of You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong. It's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, in that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. I'm afraid the drink has gotten to our minstrels. Horribly off key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <laughs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. Epidemics long forgotten, sure. But the romantic bits in that adventure? Don't plan to forget those. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop... Your business is booming. Good. I'm right to hear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old battleaxe. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You can call me Da. Oh, thank you, Da. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. 
mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Doubt your mother's that unbending? You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not. But it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the Academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the Academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. <laughs> Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. I wasn't in the mood. Would have resisted, tried to regain control. I think you would have seized the opportunity. I don't need opportunities like that. Mm, changed your style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. So, how'd it compare? Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. <laughs> All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Promised you this night. Aim to keep my word, and I aim to be direct. Even more so than Vladimir. Sounds interesting. Interesting is what interesting does. Rats. Piers taken. Got a feeling it's about to free up. <clears throat> How did you know? I'm clairvoyant. <sighs> Practically full. Be ashamed to let it go to waste. Besides, we leave it here, a very drunk person could find it, drink themselves into even more trouble. And I swore a solemn oath. 
First of all, do no harm. Row me to the moon. Got a fly to get to the moon. You're dead wrong. Look, it's right there, in the middle of the lake. <laughs> what are you doing? What one usually does on the moon. Wow, now. Did you know you've gained 27 new scars since we last saw each other? Keeping count? Mm-hmm. I do that sometimes. Did we make it to the moon? Forgotten already? No. Not the sort of thing you forget. Exactly. Sound like you wish you could. No. I certainly won't forget that. And I definitely don't regret it. But I do need to sort it all out in my head. Alone. Shani, wait. Before you go, I need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story is more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt.